Hello fellow Zelda fans and welcome back to my channel. This is Brasscoin and today we are going to be finishing up some of the missions in Dampy's dungeon creation mode. So I'm going to head into Dampy Shack. I've already assembled all of my dungeons. This is just a quick run through of all of them. Uh, at least the later four. I have already done in another video the Dungeon Arranging 101, placing the basics a passage across as well as fill up your hearts to get the heart piece. The next is the Dungeon 2 level, Key Hunter, Bombs Away, and Treasure Bolt. I'm going to go into Key Hunter here and show you my dungeon, so to speak. So for the top left, I'm just going to scroll over each individual tile that I have to show you what will work. If you want to copy it, go ahead. If not, great. It's not a super fantastic dungeon by any means, but hey, that's what you get. So we have this tile, this tile, this tile, this tile, and in the top right we have that tile. Going down we have that tile, skipping ahead to the boss tile as well as the mini boss tile we have a heart tile treasure chest a four way four key tile a that tile a mini boss tile with a rupee effect on it drop down a layer we have this bombable wall tile we have this locked door tile we have this tile we have this tile with a mini boss in it as well with the treasure chest Skipping down, we have this tile for a corner piece. We have the entrance tile as well as the corner tile here. That is everything we need for this one. We are going to record arrangement, update arrangement, and we're going to quit arranging. So I'm going to back out at that point and go through the dungeon. Alright, starting in this dungeon, I'm gonna head right to kill these boys here. Oh, he took away my sword technique. Loser. Alrighty, collect my treasure chest, which I think it's gonna have a key in it. I think the first three treasure chests I open are going to actually have keys in it. Receive one rupee, kill these boys here. Get a sixth rupee. Get my heart back for lasers. And get some bombs going on. Plant that. Do a little shield move to avoid the blast damage and run through here. Kill those guys. Ah, oh, he's on my face. Get him off. Collect another rupee. And I'm going to walk around the corner here to kill this guy so he doesn't hurt me. And step on the switch for a treasure chest. Open it for a second key. And then we're going to come to the right door here and kill our mini boss. And this is the room I have my dungeon raining rupees on. He's killed. So I'm going to go ahead and just collect the rupees as they rain down on me. Hopefully they'll rain for quite a while. Collect my 20 boy before he disappears. Just collect rupees after rupees after rupees. I actually don't know how many rain down here, but I'm liking the fact that it's a lot. They actually disappear quite fast, so I'm up to 297 already. Liking that. Collect that treasure chest for my third key, which is the last key of this dungeon, I think, if I remember how I set it up. Oh my gosh, that's pathetic. Shoot, dang. That trap is deadly as ever. Took away a good two and a half hearts there. That's okay. I should be able to get it back on this flame boy here. Pull out my trusty boomerang. 
and get a fairy to grab my hearts up, as well as a treasure chest to unlock some goodies. Yeah, I don't want that. Want that. Single rupee there. So from what I can tell, this underworld is kind of like randomized. Depending on what the dungeon thinks your dungeon needs. So we'll head up here and see where it places us. I've explored the far right as much as possible and it's going to take me to this lower room here, which is good. I like how it forms kind of like a little skull that was intentional. Push this here, this here, we've done this before. Grab that, smash him, kill the keys. And then go to this little spear guy here to unlock a secret treasure chest. Collect my rupee, now I'm at 299. And now I'm at 300 rupees. Use my key to exit this doorway here. Kill some stupid slimes. Choo choos. Gaining a single red rupee. That is a room we've already been to, so I'm going to head left instead to collect my treasure chest with a 20 rupee in it. So I'm up to 320 rupees. And now I'm good to backtrack to the beginning of the dungeon. Luckily, it's not too crazy far away. Turn left here to enter the main entrance again. I could have killed those guys. Probably would have given me a little bit more rupees, but I'm trying to do it as efficiently as possible, not having to kill extra enemies or anything. To see what the rupee count would be if you just were to luck upon everything. And we have another single freaking rupee. Not showing me the love there. Grab a hold of this and pull open our little sliding blocks there so we can run through the doorway it creates. This is from Dungeon 7, I believe. And now we get a Henix that throws bombs as well as fire. Super not nice. But four hits and he'll be dead, so not too crazy. He'll even give us a fairy so that we can replenish our life force as well as a treasure chest to open up for some goodies. Hopefully it rewards me with some, you know, actual good rupees since there was a mini boss in this room. And it just gives me a single rupee that was totally not even worth it. We have some hearts there if it is necessary. It might be after I'm done with this guy. This guy wrecks me. So I'm just going to let him throw his ball while we pick it up. He doesn't like playing catch with me. No, I missed! Dang it! The farther you are away from it when you get him to throw, the better. Because then you have more time to pick it up before he does. Oh my gosh! Not nice! Four hits and he is down, floundering a little bit before exploding into a fairy letting us recoup our hearts that we lost. And then we're into this room with some laser beams, and I'm up to 324 rupees, with another treasure chest for 20 rupees, so 344. Oh, that was dumb. Kill these guys for another treasure chest here. This one contains a 5 rupee. Might be different if you chose to copy it. Might be different for you, depending on how your generator's working. Kill that boy there for my fairy. Get my laser beams back. And then we can continue to the last and final room with the... Oh crap. With the nightmare key in it. Not too crazy there. I am, however, going to play Mamba's song and see if it'll let me warp to the beginning of the dungeon here. It'll be super nice if it does. Warp to entrance. Since I know I'm at the dead end. 
and we will head right. Ignore everybody that's in our way. Collect another five rupees. Probably shouldn't have because it messes with my total a little bit. Hopefully I can get a heart in here and be on my way. Give me a heart. Dang it. Will you guys give me a heart this time? I'm gonna, at this point, kill an enemy to get a heart so I can have the laser beams for this boss. Maybe this key will give me one. No love. Oh well. We shall do it without laser beams. Enter the boss door here. And he's not too crazy to kill. We've done it several times before. And two hits and he is dead. Key Hunter clear. I think I left with two, 354 rupees. So... We successfully completed Dampe's challenge and get a brand new chamber slot into the dungeon. What are you here for? We're gonna go arrange again. Going to go two bombs away and show you all everything that's in this dungeon. So we have my Moldorm boss, a heart passageway. We have the four winged room that is from an amiibo. Basically it's a winged item room with four entrances. We have that treasure chest with the bombable wall there. We have the great fairy. To the left, we have this passageway from Dungeon 1. We have this passageway, this passageway with the rupee effect on it, as well as this one. Going down, we have that chain pulling lever one. We have a four little spiky guy one with some keys. We got this mini boss room, this mini boss room, and this room. Jumping down here, we have this room here, this room. I made very special careful consideration to make it so that we didn't actually have to use those switches. This room, this room, this room with a staircase. Going down to the bottom, we have this room, this room, and this room with the angle up to here. So we're gonna go ahead and start that. I'm actually gonna finish or figure out which of my chambers is new that Dampy gave us just barely. Which is a four way with this slime boss here. So it's basically our slime boss from slime or from one of the temples into a four-way room so that's pretty cool there and the rupee effect so we're gonna go ahead and record arrangement again update arrangement and we're going to quit arranging and we're going to start the dungeon yeah. Alright, since I know this is a dead end, I'm going to choose to go right first, collect this treasure chest, which probably isn't going to get me much. Let's see if I can flash that, open that, get me a nice little key, and then we're going to go all the way left. Oh, I was almost running into that. And to kill this boy here. Hopefully he's going to give me another treasure chest with a key in it. Four hits and he is dead because I have the Covalent Sword. As well as a fairy so my hearts will be retained. And the next treasure chest for this dungeon. That is two of nine I believe is what it said. And we have a single green rupee. Moving on up to the next room here. They stole my door opener. 
pull out my map real fast to figure out where I'm supposed to go. This one, I'm probably going to want to go up at this point. I guess it doesn't really matter, but we have Phoenix Boy here. Hopefully I can shoot his lasers faster than- Oh, he throws bombs too? That's bunk. I was not expecting that. But a few hits at he's down, so not too crazy there. Followed by a fairy to replenish our hearts, so I'm super grateful for that mechanic. And we get our next boss boy. Throw some lasers at him, jump over, get hit by him because I'm stupid. But four hits and he's down, he should leave us with a fairy as well. Eventually I'm going to do one of my own dungeons where I get to use every mini boss ever. Open this treasure chest here for another single rupee. This isn't a very profitable dungeon, is it? I'll get out of the gravitational pull and through my doorway here to my bombable wall room. This should have a dead end behind it with a treasure chest. Collect the treasure chest for hopefully a 5 rupee or 20. Nope, it's just nickel and dime in me. Three wonderful rupees. Alright, so at this point I'm going to go right because I'm going to make my way down to my staircase, ignoring the great fairy, using my one and only key that I have so far to enter this next room with my rupee effect. Alright, so it's going to give me some substantial rupees at this point. Always collect the big boys first. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Yes, I made it. And that bumps me up to 280. Oh, you shoot lasers, you jerk. Okay, so that should be all the enemies deactivated in this room. Figure out which way you are going to fall. And that should unlock my hidden treasure chest over in the right hand corner. I'm actually having quite a good blast with this dungeon creation mode. It's really quite fun for me. That bumps me up to 285 and I'm officially done with that room so I can enter the southern chamber here. Kill my keys. Come on, die. And use my magic just in case. Nothing to unlock there. Enter this right-handed room here, and we'll go down after that. Single rupee. Not good, guys. Come on. Show me some love. Kill the P-Hat first and foremost before it takes off on me. Kill these Skull Boys. I'll collect my rupee just to be at peace with myself. And enter this room in here, because it's going to be a dead end, I think. Collect my treasure chest. For another single rupee. I think I'm at 8 of 9 at this point. The next treasure chest I open should be the key I need. The, the nightmare key. I will get you, I promise. Mainly because I want the fairy you have. And now we're good to exit this room here. Back to the other room I was at earlier. So that staircase actually leads nowhere in my dungeon that I made. Kind of sat there. But I will do it just for the completionist's sake. Yeah, normally there's another staircase on the other side. Which is interesting, because now I wonder where it goes, since I don't have another room with a staircase in it. At least I don't think that I do. I could. Let's find out where it takes me. Oh, it takes me back to this room. That's cool. Good to know. And this is my 
chest with my nightmare key in it, so that's good of it. Pick him up to make it so that we can leave this room again. Oh, holy crap. Not the key I'm looking for. Use some magic real fast. Pull out my map to... Ah, uh, yes. My treasure chest is in the bottom, not that one. Ah, it doesn't matter if I fall in there now, suckers. Alright, that is my nightmare key. Kill these boys to see if I can get some more rupees. Do I get my rupee? Come on. There we go. I'm up to 298, almost breaking 300 here. Mmm, really bringing in the dough. Avoid the cheap cheeps and back up my staircase here. Through this doorway yonder, and through the closing gap. Jump over those, get hit by those, and totally lose my laser beam power. Talk to the great fairy to gain my laser power back. Really long cutscene to gain a half a heart if you ask me, but hey. We now have laser beams again. That's what matters. Collect some extra items here just in case you weren't OP enough. Not that we'll actually need them for the boss fight anyways. Some extra hearts if desired as well as the nightmare key to enter Moldorm's lair. This time I'm going to see if I can beat the boss with using just my laser powers. Actually that's probably harder than I anticipated it being. It's actually quite hard to hit that. Laser beam hits and he's down. So that is completing the bombs away. Let's see what he gives us in exchange. Oh, we get a plus bombs effect. Apply it to a chamber for a deluge of bombs. Uh. Alright everybody, I'm going to tackle the last two dungeons, or last dungeon now, so I'm going to go to a range to show you all that one. Arrow over, treasure vault. Continue arranging so I can show you guys individual tiles. So, in the upper left hand corner we have this tile, followed by this tile, this tile, this tile. Going down, we have this tile with the rupee effect. We have this tile, this tile, this tile. We have this tile, this tile, this tile, this tile. For the bottom tile, we have this one. And we have this boss tile here. I'm actually pretty excited to fight that boss again. I quite enjoyed it the last time. Let's see what our plus bomb effect does. Um, I'm gonna throw it in this room and see what happens. See if it increases my treasure. So with that, I am going to take on this last little dungeon here. I'm gonna quit arranging, return to menu, treasure vault. Alright, we're going to exit that. And this time we're going to choose adventure. Going to arrow right, choose treasure vault, and play this dungeon. See what happens here. Going right off the bat here, there are two treasure, three treasure chests this way. So I'm going to come and grab those because I'm pretty sure I'll need a key. I don't know if it's going to have a key right there or not. Press that treasure, that button for a treasure chest. Open her on up. And we receive our first key. 
Guess it wants to make really sure we can't lock ourselves out. So we're already in the boss room area. And kill our bat boy for our treasure chest. Not that any of them are going to be the nightmare key. We have like at least eight more treasure chests to open before that can happen. But it gives us a sick 20 rupee, so already off to a fantastic start there. I really want to know the algorithm for how it figures out to generate rupees and how many to generate and what it's worth so that we could get, you know, the most bang for our digital buck here. Five a rupee there. Smash some jars for an extra heart if you had lost one. Smash that jar for two whopping rupees and descend the staircase. Okay, this one I just have to run super fast to avoid getting thwomped on. Oh, yeah, I actually have to let him thwomp me, huh? There we go, up the staircase. He looks like super concerned. Like, that is the most concerned swamp I've ever seen in my life. Kill him for a fairy, not that I need it. I think my fairies are full. Oh, I could use a fairy. Collect that. Throw this guy over here so we can unlock our door. Should give me a treasure chest in the upper right hand corner. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty. Treasure chest time. For our second 20 rupee. I'm this dungeon's actually being pretty generous with that. Must be the difficulty level, I don't know. Like I said, I'd like to know the algorithm so I could figure out how to maximize the amount of rupees I'm gonna get per dungeon. Oh, stop running away from me, little bat. Ooh, a guardian acorn with a treasure chest. Hopefully that treasure chest moves. Like, I'm gonna be disappointed if it doesn't, because it's on moving tiles. And it doesn't, it's locked in place. With a nice 50 rupee. Very generous dungeon. I'm just gonna play this one a bunch and see how many rupees I can get, because I'm already at 298. And this is the bomb deluge room, so they're just going to be dropping bombs on us. So definitely want Rock's Feather there. See if I can get these guys to eat some bombs by mistake and see if the room will kill these guys for me. That's that's really the reason why I put those here, is to see what I can get to do. What, if I can get this room to kill these guys for me. Let's see, so you're gonna go that way. We'll put that in front of you. Put that in front of you. Put that back in front of you. Put that fairy there. Oh shoot, he didn't eat it. Oh man, not good luck. Eat it. You know you want it. Yeah. Pop it for a fairy, as well as a treasure chest. Go and get my half heart. Such a waste of a fairy, but hey. Another 50 rupee. Loving the payout here. Alright, at this point we can go right. That's going to be the quickest and most efficient method. Oh, uh, and that jerk just took my nice gift. Throw that boy there. Throw this horsey boy there. And my treasure chest should be in the upper right hand corner again. It likes that tile for some reason to spawn those. Jump across and collect my treasure chest for another 20 rupees. I know the first one I got to keep all the rupees as a bonus. I hope I get to keep them this time because that's a lot of rupees. Come in here, kill these boys real fast, block for fire damage, and open the treasure chest for another 20 rupees. 
a lot better than the last room I had, which was, or the last series of dungeons I had, which only gave me like one rupee per treasure chest. Open this guy here. For another 50 rupees, holy cow. I haven't even hit the rupee ring room yet. Open our treasure chest over here, and this next room should be my last one. And then I think it's backtracking time after that. This is the Rupee Rain Room. Nothing but a blue shy guy here, or red shy guy, so I'm really not too concerned about running into him unless I do some pretty epic screw-ups. Collect my 50 guy here. And I only missed two rupees, so nothing too crazy there. Ow, oh, you jerk. And another five rupees, as well as my nightmare key, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, hey, I can break those pots with my sword now. A nice 20 rupees, so I'm missing a room. Ah, oh, yes, that room down there. Heh. <laughs> Joke's on me. I failed myself. Running and returning to the center portion of the dungeon. Can't believe I missed a room. Yes, to the left, to the left. Without getting blown up. Down the staircase. Actually, that guy might heal my hearts. Hold on a second. Come here, flame boy. I want your fairy. Kind of makes me wonder what magic turned those fairies into flame boys. I don't know what they're actually called, but they're flame boys to me, so that's what they shall be called. If I can sneak out of here without damage. And into this next room here. Probably missed it because it's down in the bottom corner. Yep, that's exactly why I missed it. Bottom middle. But now I don't get to leave until I think those guys are all killed. But treasure chest from Nightmare Key. And we're able to progress to the boss at this point. Yep. 553 rupees. He's doing pretty good. Luckily he doesn't cause damage. 554, alright. Ignore those guys because I've already killed them once and into the boss room we go. Which for this one is down a staircase because that's how that one works. This boss fight. We get to sink down to the water below and now that we have the Koholint sword, let's see how many attacks it takes to kill this one. So there's one. There's two, three, four, and a damage, so I'm not going to be firing laser beams. Now he summons his friends. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And he's dead. I kind of dig that boss fight. It's pretty fun. So I think my total was 554 rupees. I guess it is called Treasure Vault, so that might have something to do with it. What a show! There were times, I'd swear, you had one foot in the grave. A thrill like that deserves something from my collection in exchange. Get a secret chamber. Watching you down there gave me an idea for a new challenge. It's ready whenever you want it. Let's go back into a range and see what happened. All right, so we have unlocked level three. Star decisions, stair decisions, I can't read. Let's go to a range. I want to see what my new tile is. See if it's an effect. It is not, so we'll continue from the left going right and there's my new chamber and it is this guy holy cow that's cool hmm I wonder if you unlock a tile each time you do a dungeon with different things but that's cool we get a three-way with a boss fight in between 
but we'll conquer those challenges in another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Brass Coin on Dungeon Creation Mode, doing some of the levels, showing you a little bit of a technique of how you can do them with which models or which chambers you can use. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in another video.